to be in hey. the video. What is going on, crypto people? It's the Crypto Siege with another day in the life and the crazy life that is digital asset space. Let me tell you about how crazy a life is in the digital asset space. So I'm ready to do my drive time video, okay? Get ready to, you know, put everything together to do it. Get, hook my phone up. And little Miss Crypto C says, why don't you do it this way? Why don't you have the camera facing you? I'm like, no, I can't do it because Miss Crypto C does not like it when I do that. But I'm driving. She doesn't like it, right? She says, don't worry, don't. It'll be cool. It's okay. I'm watching. You know, you don't have to look at the, you don't have to look at the phone. It's cool, right? And so I'm, I plan on doing this video with both Little Miss Crypto Siege and myself in the video. And as soon as I turn the camera on, she goes, no, 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 don't put me in it, no. Like, what in the world? What in the world is going on? Anyway, you're still in it, by the way. I know. So, but anyway, so, yeah. That is, that's kind of the crazy life in the digital space. The other thing that is cr crazy is that I've been on a mission since late last night to get a projector, to get a new projector. Nothing wrong with the current projector that we have in the home. It's great, but it's older. And so, you know, you know, you know the, the stuff, the convenient things that you like to do. You can't do with this one. I mainly use it for business presentations. But it's an older one. All right, I purchased it in 2000, I don't know, probably 16, if not 15. Probably 2015, right? So, on the hunt for the projector, you know, you go to location, pick it up, or, you know, to see if it's there, it's not in there. So, every now and then, I get that, that impulse thing where I have to have it, right? And the idea of waiting for it to be delivered is not satisfactory, right? <laughs> right? So, we're on the hunt. And here's the crazy thing. You can't call the stores and say, hey, do you happen to have this thing on the shelf? I've called three popular locations, Best Buy, Target, and Walmart. And, the, and on their recorded message, a recorded greeting, it says we cannot check for inventory due to the beer cold. Due to the beer cold. Yeah, so anyway, that is, yeah, that's why we're doing the driving video is I'm on the hunt for a projector. And yes, and I'll do a video. Guys, did you check the first two videos I did today? I hope you, got, I hope you guys had a chance to check those out. Really great stuff. It's a really great stuff, I have to tell you. It's a really good stuff. I find that interesting. Shout out to it. I believe it was the guy. His name was, uh, first of all, XRP Crypto Wolf, right? We all know XRP Crypto Wolf, a guy who continues to add value to the community every single day. You got to love the guy and appreciate someone who takes their time, energy, and resources to share, to share with the community. Got to love that. Appreciate you, brother. So it was XRP Crypto Wolf and a, uh, a new one for me, uh, God Wins, who uh, posted... Godwin posted about something that new, newsbitcoin.com had shared about um, MIT and Ripple. And this was back from 2016, but they re-aired it or reposted it. News.bitcoin.com reposted this. That MIT was running a validator, checking valid transactions on the Ripple ledger, the consensus ledger. And I just thought that was very apropos considering the news that we got from you know XRP Crypto Wolf about the Federal Reserve partnering with MIT to um, to chess to trial uh, several blockchain DLTs, and they happen to start with the Hyperledger Fabric blockchain DLT. They happen to start with that one, but they're going to be doing other ones, but the Fed partner with MIT and I believe the Federal Reserve uh, Bank of Boston as well right and I just thought hey isn't that interesting do you think that's a coincidence I just don't I don't think that's a coincidence I mean right I like I, I don't believe that to be a coincidence so yeah 
I don't, I'm like, think about that. MIT 2016, they were excited. I read the article, they were excited about being able to collab with the people from Ripple. We're in, encouraged by Ripple's willingness to communicate and carry on a dialogue about making the payment sector better. Think about that. And now MIT is hooking up with the Federal Reserve to test other blockchain payments. <laughs> what do you think that conversation is going to be like? Hey, did, did you, you know, I could just see the people from MIT. Hey, did you know, you do know that we, you know, we did, you know, we, we did some work with the validator in, in validating transactions on a Ripple ledger, right? You do know that. Really? No, I didn't know that. So, how did that go? How did that go? Well, you know, they have tons of transactions. In fact, millions with a zero error rate. Absolutely no errors in these transactions. Happens to be really, really fast, three seconds. And it costs about zero, 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 one tenth of a penny or something, one thousandth of a penny. Yeah, no, really? Yeah. Interesting. <laughs> There's zero chance that that's a coincidence. But well, listen, I, I'm just saying, I'm sure there's been some conversation. <laughs> that's what I'm, that's what I'm, that's what I'm saying. I'm sure there was some, some conversation. So we shall soon see. So I, I do apologize in advance that you, you have to see, you have to deal with my ugly mug instead of, you know, the, the nice scenic view on the typical drive videos. Uh, yeah, and you, you get to see the side of a little Miss Crypto Siege's face. <laughs> So, but I wanted to, I did, I did want to do a video. Listen, guys, y'all, the XRP hodlers out there, right? I know it's tough. You keep seeing this link and this zap protocol and this ban protocol. I know it's challenging. I know that it is, right? Can't get above the 30 cents. Saw blockchain backer. Uh, he seemed to be very encouraged that the altcoin market had, uh, had made a new high. So it made a new high. Bitcoin dominance is where it is, but the alt the alts did make a new high. So that's it. That is encouraging. Absolutely, without question, very encouraging. So look, the time is upon us. The time is near. It is here, right? It is here. Uh, gosh, the blockchain backer says you know he's expecting fifty five cents. Cool. That is awesome. I watched a guy earlier today, and I have to share this. Um, something 99 is it crypto 99 it might be crypto 99 something 99 right older guy sharing his uh a strategy that he learned or is being taught from some guy named jay or jason jay um any case about going from 1000 xrp to 500,000 x or something i don't know anyway, an interesting strategy and i get the whole thing you know i get it if you're at 20 cents you got it at 20 cents and it goes to three dollars plus you, you sell and you know when it retraces back down to two bucks or a dollar eighty whatever you take that money and you buy more and, and cool right i don't look i don't know for me i don't know right yeah yeah i don't know right so i don't know. are retracements normal yeah i just i don't know i don't i don't know if i want to be in that game right so I would rather just, you know, do the thing at $55, <laughs> like he says, right? You know, just hold on to 55 you know, and, and, and take some stuff there. So I don't know about that whole $3, exit completely out, wait till it retraces to 2 bucks, so that you can get more. I, uh, I don't know. I don't know about that. Yeah, I'm not that smart. I'm not smart enough to be following that every day and, and, and I feel like I would have to be on edge you know waiting for retracements now if you do something at $55 and you have a bunch you know if you have a few thousand $55 right that's that's a you know that's a that's a time to um, leverage your assets that's my goal you know so do I get that you can increase the number of your XRP if you do the, you know, if you do the completely out of three dollars and change, and then get completely back in at a dollar eighty? Yeah, I get that. I do, I do, I get it. I do. You know, for 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 the crypto seizures home, we're just gonna uh, leverage the assets. <laughs> we're gonna leverage the value of the asset and hold on to it. 
uh, I just think for me that's just uh, for our home it's a it's a better deal because I continue to hold on to the asset um, right so for me I'll collateralize the asset take a loan against the value of it on Celsius dot network that's my goal uh, and um, you know go do our thing and yeah we don't, we don't have any debt so go do our thing and uh, have a good time and take as long as we want to pay it back <laughs> right at 1% or at, at uh, 3.9% or at 7.9% uh, something along those lines right I'd rather do that and for me uh, for me I very much feel since I have so many assets on the Celsius app on the Celsius.network app I have so many assets there and this is a platform that's supporting me so I don't mind paying you know six months of, of interest or whatever I don't mind paying it right I'm supporting a platform that's supporting me do I pay the money back yeah I pay if I if I have a hundred thousand dollars I paid a hundred thousand dollars back yep I do I paid a hundred thousand dollars back pay it and you know pay it in the fiat dollars and then I get my most valuable asset in the digital asset space my most valuable asset my most valuable asset is sitting next to me here Little Miss Crypto Seeds, right? So, but my most valuable asset I in the digital asset space, I get to keep, okay, and live my life. Well, you guys got to make your own decision for yourself. See if that makes sense to you. But in any case, uh, yeah, that's kind of where we are. I, forget, I think it was Crypto99 was the guy's name. Seemed like a nice guy, too. Really seemed like a nice guy. So, in fact, I think that was the guy who originally gave the first five of the, um, shared with us the first five cryptos that Tika Tawari did. I believe it was that guy is where I first saw it. As a matter of fact, now that I think about it, it was that dude. So, in any case, there that is. I, do you guys think, let me know in the comments if you think that the fact that MIT was a validator on the Rimple Consensus Ledger in 2016 and was excited about being able to do and work with Ripple and the United States Federal Reserve today in 2020 just shared with us that they had partnered with that same MIT to trial blockchain DLTs for payments. And the first one that I believe the first one that they're at least they're saying the first one was the Hyperledger fabric. I just can't see how there aren't some conversations going on about that. <laughs> what about Ripple? I, I I just can't see it. Did we miss our turn? I have no idea. I think we did. So, in any case, I just can't see that that just is just a coincidence. Next one, maybe. No, it's the next one. I just can't see that as being a coincidence. Right? Like, just certainly you got to think there's a conversation. There had to have been some conversation about the Ripple consensus ledger. Hey, how did that thing go? Or how is that thing going with it? Right? <laughs> oh, funny to me. Funny, funny, funny to me. But in any case, that's probably is the deal. How those strong guys keep those Alley Pals and those Ledger Nano X and those uh, uh, treasures safe. Keep them secure. Make sure you're getting on them and off of them. So you're comfortable with them. Make sure you got them in a safe place without question. Don't, by the way, if you see any ads, uh, any um, ads on my channel about telling you that, that the greatest deal in the world is if you send us your crypto, they'll send you some more crypto back. Don't fall for those guys. Those are big time scams, okay? Big time scams. Never ever send your crypto to someone and promise uh, with some promise in return for more crypto. It's definitely a lie. So pay close attention to that. Don't click on anything in your emails or your text messages as well that you're not familiar with. If you're uncertain, call someone. Be call someone before you click on that thing and uh, someone gets access. You know, SIM swaps uh, are very, very dangerous. Uh, by the way, make sure you do get a VPN. I recommend the Ghost VPN without question. Uh, I like Ghost and I also like... Um, uh, Proton Mail's VPN is really, really good. Really, really good. And I like the Nord VPN as well. It's always, I think it's always best to switch those up or run them in conjunction when you can. All right, guys, listen, I'm going to wrap up the stream like I do all of my streams or all of my videos, I should say, and remind you guys of this that old money doesn't want you to win. 
They don't want us to win. They would rather us remain a cog in their perpetual wheel of trading our time for dollars. They don't want us to play in the same playground that they play in, but we allow our money to work for us. This is our chance to win, guys. The digital asset space is our chance to win. We are in the midst of the greatest transfer of wealth in the history of man. Are you participating or are you standing on the sidelines? Here's what I do know, that the battle for you has already been fought and the victory is yours. Go get it. I'll talk to you soon, guys. See ya. Bye.